All right, so I want to ask you just generally overall about this Tennessee season. Uh, as you kind of alluded to there, 27-9, and nine, they end up finishing. They're the top number two seed in the tournament. They get to the lead eight, the Elite Eight only the second time in program history. How would you quantify this season for Tennessee? It's undoubtedly an extremely, extremely successful season. To me, it's no-brainer to best season in Tennessee basketball history. I mean, I'm sure people can debate that, but when you talk about winning the SEC regular season title outright and making a run to the Elite Eight and losing to one of the teams that's been one of the three best teams in the country the entire season um and there's been a pretty big gap after those three teams like it was a great great year um and it was an incredibly fun team to watch play um the team that that kept their identity and their toughness with adding an offensive element and a player in Dalton Connect that the SEC won't see again in a really long time just how unbelievable he was to watch. Um, it, it was it was an awesome season. A lot of people will look at the season way back like, man, what a missed opportunity with the year you had Dalton Connect that you couldn't get over to hump. The NCAA tournament's so unpredictable and the way stuff falls, sometimes you're, Rick Barnes two best teams. It's fallen. They've got no breaks in, in the tournaments. It's about being able to capitalize when you do get those breaks. Um, and, and I think what Tennessee had mixed with Alabama making it to the Final Four is something that the point was kind of really driven into me this tournament and, and particularly this past weekend.